Reverend Pam Gagan from the Center for Spiritual Living Pleasant Valley in Camarillo, California. Welcome to our uh, Lotus and Lily Manifestation uh, Meditations. And so today we're talking about filling our cart. And what that means is we're going to be talking, I'm going to give you some information. We're going to do a little meditation exercise and I'll end with an affirmation. But it's about filling your cart with your desires. And so Jesus said in Matthew, your father knows what you need before you ask. And that's from the Aramaic ancient, ancient Eastern text. Aramaic is the language that Jesus spoke. So today is a delightful day when you fill your cart with all the things you want uh, to create and reveal a beautiful life. When you began the Lotus and the Lily, you might have thought that the idea was to get clear about what you asked for and then stand back and receive. And that's what we're doing, but we're doing it in a much deeper, more directed way. We're asking the way Jesus taught over 2,000 years ago in the famous passage that is usually translated in different Bibles as it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be open, and ask and it will be open. But Jesus had more to say than the uh, modern usage of this word uh, that ask conveys. Ask meant in those days, it meant that you made a request of something that we want. And according to Meister Eckhart, uh, asking is treating God like a cow for some people. Uh, they swear they love God in the same way they love a cow. They love it for its milk and cheese and the profit that they can derive from it. In Aramaic, Jesus didn't walk up to the cow and ask her, what do you, uh, what, what, you know, this is what I want. And uh, Neil Douglas's uh, close re-exploit nation in the blessings of the cosmos, he retranslated this Jesus' original Aramaic words to what actually Jesus said in Matthew. And so what he said, and he was so wise, ask intensely, ask like a straight arrow lined absolutely toward the object that you want. Pray with desire as though you interrogated your own soul about the deepest, most hidden longings, and you will receive absolutely, expressively, expensively, not only what you desire that you've asked, but where the elemental breath will lead you to love's doorstep, the place where you will bear fruit and become part of the universe. This is the power and generation and sympathy we search for anxiously from the interior of our desires to its outer embodiment. So there is that critic criteria of inter, uh, interrogating your soul, following the path to love, searching from inside the desires, the items you put into your car today are probably quite different from those you might have chosen a month ago. If you, and when you create your mandala at the end of this, if you do this and follow through, I can guarantee you that all of your angels and guides are joyfully waiting to help you create this wonderful last uh, day expo experience. This is your soul day that's coming up, where all of your deep explorations in the last, uh, in the last uh, few weeks, now you have to interrogate your soul to bring that and sift through and winnow your list down to what you really, really want before we go into making our mandalas. So begin by making an edited list. And I'll make you, I'll give you a moment here uh, afterwards to jot down anything and everything you want. Don't pick or choose yet and don't touch any of your choices. Just get them on paper. After this meditation, just get everything you could possibly want on paper. Write it all down. And then begin to interrogate your soul, interrogate your guides, and ask what lies behind each item. And so if originally you wanted money on that first day, we now know it isn't the money, it's the freedom money creates with that money. You want health, you want to lose weight, whatever freedom, whatever it is that's uh, your weight consideration or your 
health consideration or releasing an addiction or becoming debt free or having a baby or meeting your true love or changing careers or writing a book or a screenplay. What soul expanding life affirming truth lies beneath each desire. That is what you've come to realize when we take leave here and we, after the meditation we're doing together. Then after you look at your list after we leave this uh, meditation this morning, and it may be a pretty long list, allow things to fall off and others to merge. And some of them may just fall off that pretty long list. And there is no correct number of how many things you want. Usually 12 to 16 items is uh, or fewer end up on your soul uh, revealing day mandala day where you're creating your own vision mandala. Like you trust you, if, if you have more than that, usually it's because you don't trust the universe to be generous. Or you deserve, if you have less than that, you don't trust the universe to be, deserve uh, to have uh, you uh, desire to manifest all the desires you have in your card. So here are some questions that may help you explore the interior of your desires. When we're going through now, we're going to do this meditation and take your pen and paper and write the answers to this even before you write your, well, let the items come forth. We're going to take you to your guides and then I'll go take you through these questions. So just relaxing in, just relaxing in. A lot of information there, but what we're doing now. Is our meditation to get us in touch with our soul guide. We're going to see you. walking up those stairs. You're in the bottom of a foyer. And there are six stairs you're going to walk up, up to a platform. And I want you to look at the top of those stairs and see your ideal bodysuit what you look like inside and out. It could be angelic. It could be the perfect you. At the top of those stairs. So now you're going to walk up those stairs, walking deep into the heart of who you are, the beauty and the presence of who you are, holding on to the rail, going up, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can listen to this again or have paper and pen in hand right now. And at this platform, there's another platform you turn to. It has another six stairs that lead to a double door. So walk up those stairs, holding onto the rail, and the stairs can look like whatever you want them to look like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Up the stairs, open the door. 
And as you open the door, you open the door to a table or one guide or angel or your council or guides and angels have prepared a seat for you. And so you walk over to that table and they're showing you the way, loving you, so happy to be with you, so happy to support you in the good that you are, the highest good being revealed in and through and as you, and bringing it forth in this wonderful human body, human life, human third dimensional experience on this planet, our beautiful Mother Earth. And your gift is so important to the planet right now. So they sit you down and look around and see if there's any names. So you sit down, knowing they are at your service. And you ask questions that may help you explore the interior of your desires. And now, you can write fast anything you desire, just write it fast. Or you can come back and do this again. Now, you can always come back to this and you can always write more. But these are the questions you'll ask when you are looking at your work. Dictate everything in advance and write fast with everything you want. 
to explore that interior of your desires. And once you have the paper in front of you, here are some questions you may want to ask to help you explore those ways of intention and gratitude that are leading you towards something of revealing the greater life that is already so yours. And so ask with each question, does my soul want this? Does this item and the items on my list describe what makes me feel the highest and best with an absolutely emphatic yes? And do that with each item. as you fill your cart, and you can even vision your cart or draw a little cart, like an old ox cart or whatever it looks like, a wagon, whatever it looks like. And put it in, each intention, each desire in that cart. And only you can decide what goes in the cart and what your cart looks like. And you'll probably have a long list of desires when you do this on your own. Don't fret about whether or not they're real or final items that will go into your cart that will eventually end up on your visioning mandala. I'm going to interrogate your soul and let it help you along with your guides and angels. And go further in the question again. Do these desires help me awaken more to who I am? Do they support my feeling of being enough? Does it take me away from my old movie and thought wounds that dig holes in everything that I, not everything, but things that I desire the most? Is this desire worth my time and intention? Does this desire take me into a deeper experience of love and joy? Does this desire match my power statements? Did my magnificent self select this? And does it move me, this desire and this item I've put into my cart, move me toward my life just around the corner waiting for me to open up to it? And very important, are my angels and guides affirming this for me? Are they joyous for me? Does this desire make my heart leap in my soul and my soul to create my, the perfect melody for my soul to sing? 
Are these desire seeds the ones I want to grow in my life? Does this collection of items the highest good for my cohesive picture of my beautiful, abundant new life? And again, in the end, the real question is simply, does my soul want this? Do the items on my list describe the life my soul wants to create? And only you can answer those questions. No one else. And no one else can tell you what belongs in your cart in the creation of your intention mandala. It's your life, your soul, your cart. Only you can decide what goes into it. Spend time interrogating your soul. And by the time you've finished interrogating your soul, you'll have a list probably of 10 or more desires. Don't worry if what they're the, the final items that will go into your mandala. You'll be reviewing everything on your soul day after you identify your conditions. Right now, Conditions will help you solidify what you want, but just for right now, put all the items in your car. The car can look like anything. If it's an ox cart, you may even want an ox on it. It may look like a gypsy cart. It may look like a wagon of some sort. It may look like a cart being pulled by a beautiful horse. And the horse represents spirit, the one creative force at the center of your mandala and your universe is spirit. And reflect after you do this. This is an exercise that will take time on your own. What is my criteria for deciding what to put in and what to leave out of my car? Ask your angels if you're having difficulty. How can I interrogate my soul, go deeper to create a list for my mandala? And let it be revealed. All those answers and that cart full of desires, dreams, and affirmations, and revelations manifesting in this third dimension life. Just let it flow, let it create. And I end now with knowing that this rich experience leads you deeper, helps you reach higher in affirming that God is I am. And I am ending with one more affirmation. I am filling my cart with the desires of my soul. And so it is. And so it is. Namaste. Peace out. Have a blissed, blessed wonderful day. God is the power and presence within all. Mwah! See you on the flip side. Bye.